Hello and welcome to Thief. Yes, Thief is actually a really good game. I've already played through it once, so I definitely recommend playing it if you can. Thieving at its finest. Alright, so let's just get started. New game. You can probably read this, but a normal balance for accomplished thieves who like a little risk with their reward. Both phones are competent and aware. Resources are affordable and available. You will not be able to change the difficulty setting once the game has been started. Yes, we would like to continue. And really long wait time. This is going to take a minute. And you know it was longer than this, Dark. Yes, Dark. If the game was more purple than dark, should have just freaking called it purple. Yes, which, fun fact, we started a Let's Play of, but we stopped because there was a whopping one view. But it wasn't like, but it wasn't disliked either, so that counts for something, right? Maybe. Probably it was not. brilliant. Uh, probably not. <laughs> probably not. Time will tell. Yeah, I guess. <laughs> There's one thing this city's taught me. You can put a price on anything. Secrets, reputations, a life, and trust. If you have to ask, you can't afford it. But then I suppose none of that matters when you're me. After all, when did I ever pay for anything? All right, so now the beginning of the game. So let's see what this man has to steal in his apartment and get rich with. <laughs> Despite most of them being only like six gold. Hmm. All right, golden cups, golden knives, and golden saucer. The usual. Well. This guy has a lot of gold and stuff in his house. Yeah. We're gonna get rich off this unse seemingly useless stuff in the, in this house. Though this surprise, though this gold stuff surprisingly doesn't go for very very much. The sad thing is, we might actually get rich off this stuff. Let's see what's in this closet. Okay, we found a golden flask. This one went for eight. Instead of the usual five or six. And then there's that. And that seems to be everything in here. So let's just leave. And across here. Remember, oh. don't yep. look down. Yep. If you're afraid of heights anyway. Okay, everybody, this is how the Master Thieves do it. So, th this is how you do it. Okay, okay, and a lot of birds. Let's see, okay. Let's try not Someone to disturb the birds, it'd be nice. That painting's more my taste. I should take a closer look. Hmm. Let's see what's behind the magical painting. Is it always a mistake? No, it does not. Alrighty then. And there's a safe. So. Wow, I barely had to move anywhere. <laughs> Open this up. It's a necklace. It's actually a pretty necklace, though. Go it will go. It'll fetch a pretty pretty a penny, all right. And now let's get out of here before something bad happens. I just hope that's not what I think it is. Rope arrows. Always uh, Always nice to have a, to have a, to have some on you. I try to have some on me at all times. It is preferable. <laughs> did tell you we were working together on this, right? Well, I showed up, so what do you think? <laughs> I think you haven't changed a bit. Come on, it'll be just like old times. And now some parkour mm -hmm. stuff. 
Not as good as the parkour in, in Mirror's Edge, but, you know, still pretty cool. The most exciting thing that's happened so far. Definitely. By far. Glad you could make it. Did you pick that route because it was fast or because he thought it'd be fun? Can it be both? Come on, let's get Basso his commission. I thought that was pretty fun, actually. The mm -hmm. light gem displayed in the lower left corner of the, scene, uh, the screen indicates whether or not you are hidden in shadows and dark areas. When the light gem is black, you are less likely to be spotted. Okay, and this is about all time we have for this video. So, thanks for watching, and hopefully this will be better than our dark playthrough. But keep now, your, keep our fingers crossed. But now, goodbye. Later.